I'm completely sane, by the way. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to the Club of Bacon. And today, it's a bit of an odd day. A bit of an odd day, to be honest. Um, no particular reason why it's an odd day. It just is an odd day. Because um, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so what's been going on the past little while? Well, you know, a whole bunch of nothing, really. I went to see the Sonic movie the other week. Uh, just just for the sake of going to see it. It, it was, it was alright. I went to see it with mate. It was alright. It was better than I expected, actually. Uh, and I already expected it to be good. So, the fact that it was better than good, you know, is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like it. Support companies that actually like their own fans. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's what we need more of. Companies that actually like their own fans. Unlike literally every other company right now. So, yeah, you know, that's that's a thing. Also, for some reason, I found out Raspberry Fant is a thing. I got a bottle of it over there. You can just see it in shot here. Raspberry Fanta is a thing. I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna try it tomorrow because reasons. It's a bit late now, uh, so I'm gonna try it tomorrow. See what that's like. Wonder if I should review um, the bottle of Fanta. You know, review drinks. I don't know. But yeah. Um, speaking about reviews, last week I did a review on Doctor Who. And there was some some guy commented on it saying nice video, uh, and and he does a whole bunch of Doctor Who reviews. And it's like, yeah, okay, some guy who actually reviews Doctor Who all the time on his channel liked my review, so you know, that's that's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> uh, also, I got uh, notifications for two comments on my YouTube channel. Two fairly nice comments. Um, they were quite nice, like, uh, great work, keep it up, and you deserve way more views. They were really nice comments, but then they completely disappeared when I went to the videos to find them comments. Uh, I did get a screenshot of the notification, uh, and I even have the email saved on my phone, uh, the notification emails. But on the videos themselves, they're missing. And it's really unusual because one of the videos, when I clicked on it, one of the videos that was supposed to have had that comment on it, that it didn't have that comment, um, the video in question uh, had no views apparently. So how that's possible for someone to go on there and leave a comment, but yet the video got no views, doesn't make much sense. Also, where the comment went doesn't make too much sense. I mean, I suppose the person who posted it could have deleted it after watching my content for more than two seconds. Uh, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. They could have just deleted the comment. But it, it just has me questioning it. Like, where, where did the nice comments go? I, I got nice comments for once, and they're just not here. My subscriber count, as far as I can tell, hasn't changed. Uh, which is, you know, okay, I guess I'll deal. Um, but I've been getting nice comments just this past week, so it's like, hmm, I'm, get, I'm getting some good feedback, but I'm not getting any subs or even much more views than usual. So it's like, bright, okay. I mean, to be honest, negative feedback would be nice. Not, like, like, not necessarily negative negative, but, like, Negative positive, if you get me, like, negative, like, this is bad, this is where you can improve, here's some constructive criticism, rather than people just saying, haha, you smell, because, because, you know, that's the sort of comments I would not like, at all, I in the slightest, uh, because that would not be 
constructive at all. It's like, what am I supposed to learn from how, how you smell? You can't smell me. It's just a basic camera recording this. It doesn't have any smell sensing features on this camera. Okay? And... Even if it did, do you have a computer that can reproduce said smells whilst watching a video? Is there a website that allows that to be a thing? P possibly, actually. I'm pretty sure I did see someone was making a device for VR that is supposed to replicate smells, but I doubt that that's a consumer product at the moment because I haven't seen it actually as a consumer product yet, just as like some guy was testing it for the sake of testing it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, got bus today down to Tesco. Also, this past little while, for some reason, I'm drinking much more pure water than usual. I have literally no idea as the exact reasons as to why, but I'm drinking a lot of water all the time, and I got a special filter jug. So I could take the water out of the tap and just filter out some of that metallic taste. Because I've got like really sensitive taste buds. So I can taste I can taste the metallic, this metallic sort of taste in water. I hate it. I can't stand drinking plain water. So we got this filter thing that really dulls it down like a lot more and makes water a lot more plain. So now I've just got pure water-ish. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit less metallic. So, you know, that's nice. <coughs> I'm completely sane, by the way. My beard's wet now. <laughs> My shirt looks horrible, but because of the angle of the camera, you can't see. Look at this shit. <laughs> I have no reason to do any of the things that I do. I just do them. Ow, ow. It's sticking to my shirt, and it's really cold. I'm just going to scrunch that up a little bit. It's not like you can see this shirt at this angle anyway. Mmm, thinking about taking it off. I'm feeling proper weird <laughs> right now. I have no idea why, but I feel extra weird right now. I don't know if I'm playing it up or not. I, I... This shirt is getting increasingly more uncomfortable by the second. But yeah, I went to feed the dogs. Earlier today, I'm just literally rambling about random little things. I went to feed the dogs earlier today, and I didn't have any dog food in the normal food barrel, but we have like an even bigger food barrel on the back that I top up the small food barrel with. So I went to the big food barrel out the back, and there was no food in that either, but my pizza was in the oven, so I couldn't just go to the shop. Because uh, my pizza was in the oven, so I waited and I had my pizza and then when I finished my pizza It was about five minutes to the shop closed and I was kind of freaking out a little bit So I decided to leg it all the way across town But I wasn't going fast enough, but then out of nowhere a massive gust of wind Well not out of nowhere. It's, it's really windy in my local area, but a massive gust of wind just started pushing me down the road, and I pretty much rode the wind itself to get down the street. Uh, I was going super fast. It, it made me feel really, really fast. It was, it was really great for some reason. So I ended up super speed running down the road, and I made it to the shop on the exact minute the shop was due to close. I put the dog food down at the till. Like, at the exact same second the shop was supposed to close. Got it scanned through and I got to leave. I wonder if people hate me because of how late I came into the shop. You know, given that it was literally supposed to have closed at the time that I, you know, got my thing scanned. But, still, I, I feel like I succeeded in my legging it across town. So, that's all well and good. Uh, also, coronavirus is getting worse. 
that that's a thing. Um, like apparently a lot of places are getting closed down at the moment. But yeah, coronavirus is getting a lot worse. So that's a thing to be worried about, I suppose. Um, I noticed Ninja Manxi uh, put up a tweet the other day saying, "Oh, why are people why are people uh, panicking about coronavirus when mental illness uh, kills many more people per year than coronavirus does on a percentage?" And it's like as true as that is, like mental health kills more people percentage-wise than coronavirus does. Uh, mental illnesses aren't highly infective, uh, and very and all very easily spread in the slightest. Uh, mental illnesses are usually specific to the person, whereas the coronavirus, while yes, it's only a six percent fatality rate, um, if it was left completely unchecked, it would, you know, spread across the entire planet and kill six percent of the human race. Now, 6% may not sound bad when you say it as, oh, it's just 6%, but 6% of 8 billion is 480 million. So, you know, that's, that's a lot of people. It's, you know, a lot of people would be dead if coronavirus was left completely uh, unchecked. So, yeah, that's, that's why people are panicking about it for... 180 million. So, you know, Ninja Magazine, if you're watching this, that, that's my response to your tweet. That's, and also, I do, I am fully aware mental illness is a major big problem and all that. So it's like, because I mean, have you seen my face? Like, at any point? Like, ever? <laughs> and, 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 and my shirt right now? It's starting to really smell. Why does it smell weird? That's not good. That's not good at all. It smells like wet dog. I'm pretty sure I got this out of the wash the other day. It's like... It smells like the dryer. That's what it is. It smells like the dog and the dryer sort of like a halfway in between the two. Which is a bit unusual, but okay, fine, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. At least it's not as cold right now. Now it's more damp than it is wet. But it does smell more. That's just weird. But yeah, I have no idea why I'm rambling about. I, d I don't have any structure to this particular video whatsoever. I'm just sort of... Yeah, no, usually I have a bit of a structure to my Sunday morning bacons. This time I don't. At all. Uh, I could talk about how... Yeah, 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 let's talk about Warzone. Warzone came out a couple of days ago. It's great. I like it. It's quite a bit of fun. But why the hell is it trios only? That's annoying as hell. I have to get a trio together. Most of the time I can only get one person to play Warzone with me at a time. Occasionally, I can get two people, and then apart from that, I don't, I don't really have much of a modern warfare squad to play with, really. It's like, come on, give me solos. I want solos or duos or both, both. More specifically, I want both. But I do like Warzone as a whole. So far, I've got one victory, only one. In that game, I think I got 11 kills, and my teammates had 4 and 5. I had the most damage, but only by 100. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I may have wiped out a few people. Semi-stole kills. Semi. Not really. I didn't. I, I earned a lot of my kills fair and square. I also learned that RPGs are a really good thing to carry in Warzone. I probably shouldn't be giving this uh, advice out publicly, but considering no one will view my channel, I pro I, I'm pretty sure it won't become a big problem. I got like so many RPG kills that game. It was hilarious. It was so much fun. <laughs> but yeah, I just kept killing people. It was great. Um, 
But yeah, I do like the mode. I feel like it's only going to get better from there, from where it is now. I'm really bored with Fortnite though. Fortnite on the other hand, I've barely played it since Season 2 of Chapter 2 came out. Because it's just... It, it, it's just same old, same old. This point. It really has gotten super old to me now. I bought the Battle Pass. Uh, but I'm not doing the challenges either at the moment. It used to be a case of when I initially got bored of Fortnite, it was bored, but I'll do the challenges every week because the challenges was what I play Fortnite for, for the most part, like the weeklies. But now it's just a case of I'm I'm not even touching the game. I've got Warzone now, and I just want to play Modern Warfare in general. Um, I've got every class of weapon in Platinum, except for ARs. Once I do the ARs, I'll be, you know, Damascus, and that'll be great. Probably get a video out of that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably put up a video of me getting Damascus. That'll be sick. Um, but yeah, it's all good. It's all good in the hunt. But yeah, I've just been rambling aimlessly at this point about pretty much nothing. I don't know where my head is at at the moment. <laughs> I really don't. I can't. I can't pinpoint myself at this point. But it's all good in the hood. It's all good over here. But yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up because I'm saying a whole bunch of random stuff. I guess I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, but yeah, gonna wrap up. I, I, I don't drink, just want to make that clear, I don't drink, I don't do drugs. My brain just twists itself from time to time. So that's what I'm assuming is happening right now. I guess. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you in an, another video, I suppose. Mm, goodbye.